So I, I was curious about what your thoughts are about the data of the late breaking onset, excuse me, abstract, the onset of B cell depletion with subcutaneous administration of ofatubumab and relapsing multiple sclerosis. The results from the, I, I kid, I'm, not, I'm just gonna spell, I think it's the APLIO, yeah, APLIOS bioequivalent study. Yeah. I thought, would you, what your thoughts were on that? Yeah, so this is, um, you know, both you and I have been doing this long enough to remember when we we had three injectable medications and it was really tough for some patients because you know, they, they didn't come in pre-filled syringes and there was no auto-injector and, and uh, you, you know, sometimes you had to mix your own medication and draw it up with a syringe and, and administer and that's difficult when maybe you have some upper limb uh, issues, uh, weakness, incoordination. So, um, uh, so then uh, patients said, when are we going to get a, a pill? When are we going to get, when's the pill coming? When's the pill coming? And then we got these great oral medications. And then, uh, you know, we, then we developed more highly effective medicines that were given IV to improve compliance as well. Now we're, we're coming full circle. So uh, Dr. Hauser presented uh, the, uh, the information on the open label six year of, of ocrelizumab. And uh, at Ectrums, he presented the, uh, the data from the two contemporary um, uh, uh, B-cell uh, depleting uh, uh, ofatumumab trials, uh, Asclepios 1 and 2. And so it showed really good efficacy and superiority against uh, an active comparator, terapalunamide, in, in annualized relapse rate, disability progression confirmed uh, three and six months, and, and really robust uh, MRI data. And, and so uh, th this study really is a, a phase two um, bioequivalency study. So we're seeing, does the pre-filled syringe that was used in those two pivotal contemporaneous uh, clinical trials, uh, d does an auto-injector uh, meet the same bioequivalence as the, uh, as the, the pre-filled uh, syringe? So this is a low volume, so 20 milligrams in, in 0.4 cc's, and there's a, a loading dose at day 1, 7, 14, and then it's, it's uh, monthly. Uh, after that, and so they they looked at an auto injector uh, versus the um, the pre filled syringe, and they saw early B, B cell depletion, so it works quickly. They saw near complete B cell completion at the 12 week uh, mark, and they showed uh, equivalency in the area under the curve and the uh, C max um, with the with the auto injector. So we're now coming full circle with a highly effective subcutaneous uh, B cell depleting medication that, that may enter our armamentarium of, of therapies soon. So, so some patients that may work well for. All right, great, great. Uh, I think that this is, yeah, I'm very excited about this medication coming out. Um, um, I'm involved in the trial, and one thing I thought that was very interesting in the trial is they were very particular about the IgG and the IgM levels about, about who was allowed to enter the trial. Mm -hmm. which really brought to my mind that uh, that they agree with what I had, uh, I'm almost say I came up with this on my own, but I just said, uh, but I spoke with some other MS physicians about, about just the importance of having adequate immunoglobulin levels before we give patients B cell depleters. Mm -hmm. And monitoring during the course of the trial and, and uh, their, um, you know, I think in, in those two trials, uh, one and two, uh, Asclepios one and two, there, there in the protocol, it's built in that if uh, the uh, if the the immunoglobulin levels, the IgM levels, even if they if they drop below a certain uh, uh, level, you have to hold hold the dose of medication. Uh, so uh, yeah, it, it does um, highlight that there may be some importance uh, in 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 our B cell depleting therapy. But this is a different this is a different medicine, presumably than. Ocrelizumab yeah. or rituximab. This is a fully humanized uh, anti-CD20. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, very good.